Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for mid-June 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you would like a personal reading for your specific situation, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, keep in mind that for this reading, the roles can be reversed because it is general. All right, Capricorn, what is going on with you and another person? Second half of June, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see. For the situation, the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Knight of Cups. Okay, something is changing. Um, something is changing here, especially concerning somebody making a love offer or coming in. Um, it could go either way, so let's actually move on and we will clarify in just a bit. So for your energy, we have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, let me just get the other person's energy also. So for them, we have the Ace of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So for you, I, I feel like maybe you're kind of fluctuating here a little bit. Um, not really sure what you want to do with this person. That's what it looks like. Um, it could be that, you know, one minute you're feeling like you want to move towards this person or that you want this person to move towards you and then the next minute you change your mind. So I feel like there's a little bit of instability there, and that could even be with why I was getting this with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups, that it's like something is shifting here, and I feel like it could be your energy kind of like back and forth in terms of do I want this or do I not want this. Um, it also is coming in as you possibly, you know, either doing something or possibly saying something that you then want to take back. Um interesting. I do actually see though the both of you wanting to put in some kind of effort here towards each other. This person definitely feels a lot of love for you or a lot of emotions for you. Um, but there's also conflict. So it could be that, you know, maybe the, the two of you have had some arguments or maybe there's something that you don't agree on. I don't know if it's competitiveness, maybe. It could even just be misunderstandings. Um, but I do see that both of you are willing to, to work this out. Um, let's clarify. So let's see the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups. And we have the Sun, the Queen of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we do have Leo showing up. Maybe some of you are dealing with the Leo, or maybe you have Leo in your in your charts. Um, so here's the thing. It's like, you know, you, you do want happiness. I feel like you both actually want happiness. Um... And it's kind of like with this this back and forth or this like shifting all the time of, you know, yeah, you know, we're working this out or no, we're not working this out. Yes, I do want them to come in. No, I don't want them to come in. Or yes, I do want to move towards them, you know, whoever that is or maybe the both of you. That does lead to, you know, you feeling um, lonely or, you know, just feeling more um, or actually feeling less united, feeling less of a team with the other person. This could even lead to feelings of rejection for one of you, or maybe even for the both of you. Let's see the Knight of Wands for your energy. The Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. All right, so Taurus here in your energy. Yeah, see, that's the thing, like, you also have emotions for them. Um, you also feel this love that they feel for you, and I feel like you do want to move towards stability. You do want things to be stable. You do want this commitment, and 
I'm not sure though, like, if there's a part of you that, you know, there's, okay, feeling like following your heart or listening to your heart and what your intuition is telling you, and then maybe there's another part of you that is, you know, maybe a little bit rigid in terms of wanting to follow a certain, like, certain rules or that things need to be done in a, in a certain way. Um, and so I feel like that could be why there's a little bit of a, a back and forth here. Because it's like these are two contradicting energies and I feel like, you know, you're... You contain both of them and sometimes you function from the one and then other times from the other and the two of these clash. So in other words, you know, your beliefs or your system of, you know, doing things doesn't always match your feelings or what ends up um, or what would end up bringing you love and happiness. So following those rules might actually be what doesn't bring you the feelings of love within this connection. So whatever that is to each of you. Let's see the Seven of Swords, the Empress, and the Ace of Cups. See, they have the Ace of Cups, and now you have the Ace of Cups. So yeah, there is love here. Um, it does feel like you go back on your feelings. It's like, you know, there's that... And I mean, I guess, you know, for some Capricorns, this could be um, a characteristic or something, you know, typical or <laughs> a tendency maybe... Um, where, you know, you feel something in your heart, but you want to take the more practical, more um, solid and systematic approach. And I feel like, you know, when you do that, it's kind of like you're, you're walking away, though, from your own self, almost. Or like deceiving your own self, because your heart is really what is you, not these belief systems. Again, don't forget the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're cross-watching. Let's see the Three of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Three of Wands. Oh, you know what I just realized? I forgot to pull the card for the potential outcome <laughs> from the other deck. Let's see. All right. I didn't shuffle them, so it's this card. It's the Nine of Cups, okay, which is really really positive this is all about um emotional fulfillment and a wish fulfillment so we'll see because it does look like like i said that the two of you are wanting to work this out and there was another um i can't remember which zodiac sign it was um that had something similar here for for the ending or for the potential outcome for this time period um, it does feel like, you know, it might feel a little bit risky for you, like it's having to take a new kind of approach that you might not be used to. But I feel like, you know, you're realizing that, you know, sometimes, yeah, a new approach might actually work better. Whatever that is, whether it's with this person or, you know, whether it's away from this person. Um, Either way, it is concerning this person. And it's like there's this new approach that you are being asked to take. And I feel like your intuition is pushing you in that direction. There's a little bit of, you know, not really knowing where it's going to lead you. You know, that feeling of it being unknown and waiting to see, you know, like what could happen or wanting. Almost like you, you want to know what would happen with this new approach. You, you want to know, you want to be able to foresee what would happen. And that's like the whole point of this lesson is that, no, you know, it's okay. You'll see what happens when it happens. <laughs> that kind of a thing. Um, whatever it is, you will be able to deal with it. So let's see for the other person. Let's see the Ace of Cups. And we have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Wow, this person is like so fond of you. I mean, there's genuine love here. There's this wanting, you know, wanting this happily ever after with you. Um, having a lot of passion for you and desiring you a lot. Uh, let's see the Five of Wands. What is this conflict about? The Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords.
So there might be some clashing between the two of you in terms of, again, um, things possibly being a little bit rigid in terms of the commitment or, of, you know, what is commitment or what are the rules of the commitment? So whatever it is that is happening here, this is the effect on this person. Um, like I said, they do have a lot of love for you, but I feel like there's, you know, been some conflict, some back and forth, and, um, I mean, and it could be that this person just has a completely different way of doing things, and I'm not saying that your way is wrong and their way is right. That's not what this is about. This is, and I'm not saying that <laughs> when I say follow your heart, that necessarily that that's the path that they're following. But for you, just in terms of you and your own self, the message is to allow more softness or to allow your heart to actually, you know, have a bigger say in things. Now, something in their energy, right, clashes just with, with the way that you were functioning, right? the way that you were doing things and vice versa right and vice versa but this is just what I'm seeing as the effect on them so maybe you know they're very rigid in their ways too so let's see that eight of pentacles because what's important here is the fact that you're both willing to you know compromise or you know figure this out all right and we have the lovers and the two of wands so Gemini showing up here um, yeah, plain and simple, this person has a lot of love for you and is willing to put in that, that effort. I feel like you are too, but you might be a little bit more hesitant because it just feels, you just want to know exactly what's going on, what this is leading to, you want to be more systematic about it. And like I said, you know, sometimes that's just, um, that's just not possible. Um, but it's interesting to me that you both have, you know, they, you have this three of wands, they have the two of wands, which is also similar. It's like they don't really know where this is going to lead either. So they're, they're a little bit reserved about how the two of you will work this out. And I feel like, you know, there is no, there is no rule here other than respect, obviously. Um... But it's like, yeah, you know, you're both willing. You're both willing. So I feel like the message is, you know, just start. Start somewhere. Let's see the Nine of Cups for the potential outcome here. And ooh, we have the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so again, intuition is showing up, um, <laughs> as well as this King of Pentacles, you know, representing, you know, um, the more systematic way um, or practical way of doing things. So it's really all about, you know, finding that balance between the two in order to have this Nine of Cups. Um, and I feel like this Five of Cups is here to say, you know, you can have this Nine of Cups, you know, regardless of what your situation is or, you know, whether you're with this person or you're not going to be with this person, whatever, that doesn't matter. You can have this nine of cups, right? Allow your intuition to come through and, you know, don't, don't allow yourself to just think about, you know, the worst possible case scenarios of what could happen if you do something a little bit differently, whatever that is. Don't focus on the negatives, basically be open because doing things differently can lead to this commitment to something being more stable because at the moment it's not um, and wish fulfillment all right Capricorn if this resonated with you let's get the final message for you and we have new moon eclipse expect powerful change like I can't even make this up 
allow there to be a change. Just go with it. Whatever that is, it's okay to not know where it's going to lead. You will deal with it when you get there. You will always have the support anyway from the divine. So expect that powerful change. Allow it to happen. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.